could be black, brown, even blonde. He could be four foot or bigger. Size doesn't matter as much as the thrill of being that close to an animal that could have you for lunch. What is it that drives our team each and every spring up over the border into the great country of Canada in pursuit of the Ursus Americanus, the black bear? Yeah, it's simple. This animal is awesome. Its power is second to none. Its sense of smell is better than the deer's. When it doesn't want to be seen or heard, you won't know it's around. But beware. This animal can outrun a quarter horse in a 50-yard dash. It can climb a tree faster than any man alive and take down a mature moose with one swipe. But no problem. All we have to do is run faster than our cameraman. Is that a bear or what? Look at the size of this bear! He's a bruiser! Welcome to this week's Archer's Choice. And this week, we are bearing down once again up in Canada because we're doing what Vicky loves to do in the springtime, and that's bear hunting. There's something about hunting bears instead of turkeys or deer. Bears climb tree stands. They have little bigger teeth, too. It's an adrenaline rush, and we were up there with Wolf Creek Outfitters and Bob Irvin once again and had an awesome hunt. The bear man himself. The bear man himself. So, you know what? Let's waste no time. Let's go bearing down once again with Wolf Creek Outfitters. We are very fortunate to be able to travel to all the places we do and meet the people. Many friendships are formed and memories are made, but that's what this sport is all about. Yes, we all want to bring something home from a hunt. But don't forget the real importance to this whole picture, and that is the entire adventure. If you're looking for adventure, you have to go bear hunting with the bear man himself, Bob Irvin, of Wolf Creek Outfitters up in Alberta, Canada. Bob is quite a character. He really knows his stuff, but sure does make it fun to be there. His area lies close to the Northwest Territories border and the BC border of Alberta. His camp is nestled right along the Chimchaga River and right in the middle of some of the best bear country we've ever seen. Well, Ralph, well, it's a pretty big country right here. And uh, what we've got going is a few baits. We're barely scratching the surface of all the wilderness we've got to work. As you can see from this view here, this wilderness goes on for a long, long ways. We've got a logging road back in here. On this logging road now, we've got scent drug up and down the trail, and we've got our bait set along there. Now here's a good spot for us. The road's pinched into where the river banks are. Chinchaga River here below us. In the evening, the air is going to be up here. Hot air is cooling down. A good thermal current is going to blow down to the river and drift up and down the river banks. Now in the evenings, beaver are quite active in the river here, cruising up and down. The bears know that in the springtime, it's a food source. These bears will be working the river banks, looking for beavers. So what we're gonna do here now is take a beaver carcass that we've got uh, right here. We're gonna nail it up in the tree. These thermal currents are gonna blow that scent right down into the river breaks here. A bear's gonna smell the blood in the beaver, work his way up this bank. He's gonna find his beaver, eat it, but he's also gonna find our scent trail. We're gonna bait right back in here and hopefully we can appeal to that bear to go to that bait. So by putting this beaver up here and having the scent blowing, we're working all of this country in addition to the country up here where the baits are. We believe many of these bears have never seen any hunting pressure. And if you know what you're looking for and are willing to wait, you just might have a chance at a big black bear. It may take all day to get some of these remote bait sites. For miles of 4x4 traveling to crossing creeks with the ATVs, you never know what might be next. But that is part of the hunt. We're very fortunate that we're able to go to a lot of spots that have big bears. First of all, locating big bears sometimes means that you have to go to an area that the hunting pressure 
is not heavy. For example, just like a white-tailed deer. If you can go to an area that the pressure is controlled or there really isn't that much pressure at all, you know that those big broons aren't bait shy, aren't hunter shy, and that when you start putting a bait out, you, you are, they are susceptible of coming in before dark. That's one of the things you want to remember on locating a big bear. Welcome back to the Archer's Choice, and guess what? It's her turn. It's my turn to go bear hunting, and guess what? I shot the first bear. Yeah, wow, cool. I'm happy for you. You ought to be. <laughs> Do you have a problem with this? No, Vic, I'm really happy for you. That's great that you shot another bear, and I didn't right then, but hey, what are you going to do? That's right. Check this hunt out. Thank you. 
once again, we are up here in High Level, Alberta, with this cook outfitters and Bob Irvin, the bear man himself. We've had an unbelievable trip up here. Again, I've got a beautiful bear. He's got a big white blaze on him. He came right in, he saw him coming in, heard him first, saw him coming in, came, he sniffed around a little bit, came around the bait, went in, grub piece, ran off, and then he came back, and I waited for him to present me my shot. Finally gave me the shot I was looking for. I shot. Uh, I didn't think it was that great of a shot, but he ran to about here. He didn't go 15 yards for me. Well, you know how it goes. I did it again. <laughs> yeah. Congratulations, Vic. Thank you. It was my spare. But listen, stay tuned because the guys are up next. Welcome back to the Archer's Choice. Yes? <laughs> what are you always doing behind my back? Absolutely nothing, Vic, but you know what? Is that because you feel like you're uh, that was compared to my hunting ability? Cut it out! Why well, shoot bigger bears than you? Not anymore, girl. Girlfriend. You think so? <laughs> That's it. It's over. You think the so? The rain once again. Let's let them decide. Let's Check this out. What a bear. Oh, oh, look at 
look at the size of this! And a bird of monster! Is that a bear or what? Whew, look how wide his head is. Oh, man. What a nice bear. <laughs> the proof is in the pudding. <laughs> you know, the way I look at it is that every once in a while I have to let you in. What do you mean you have to let me I in? I have to, because I wouldn't want you to quit this whole thing on me. Quit? So that's, I, I felt that you needed, I talked to Bob, I asked him to make sure you shot a bigger bear than me this year. Your butt, you know that? Hey, remember, this was only part one, we have part two next week. So we'll see what happens then. And we'll see who wins. Until next week, we hope you enjoy this week on The Archer's Choice. Stay tuned. Same time. Same station. Right here on The, the Archer's, Archer's Choice. Choice.